There's been renewed discussion among Queenslanders within the government about setting up an LNP party room separate to the Liberal and National parties. Sky News can reveal several MPs are once again debating a possible split from the Nationals in the wake of leadership tension. Joining me now is the Federal Pres President of the Nationals, Larry Anthony. Larry Anthony, good to see you. Have you heard this talk this week? Oh, look, look, I've heard talk like this since the LNP has been formed. I think it's a nonsense. Uh, because of Lou O'Brien's unusual position now, this is getting oxygen again. But I know very well, as far as the state executive with the LNP in Queensland and the vast majority of members here, it's not on the cards. It's a red herring. Perhaps it is a red herring, but as you say, it has been discussed and been on the cards for uh, quite some time. But you don't note a tone of more serious moves on this front this week, given what we've seen no, in the Nationals? No, no look... Look, I, I don't think so. Look, I generally know what's going on, and, uh, and that one is not. Uh, the LNP works well in Queensland. When they come to Canberra, they go to the National Party room or they go to the Liberal Party room. So, really, I mean, uh, that's mm. just uh, But the a LNP in Canberra, uh, when they go there, they do have a, their own little party room meeting once a fortnight at least now anyway, don't they? Oh, sure. Well, look, yeah, yeah. This has been happening for a long time and, I'm, and I wouldn't be surprised if other divisions, perhaps the Liberal Party, you know, the Tasmanians meet, the, 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 the um, people of Victoria meet. So there's nothing unusual about that. I think the message that I'd like to say, look, it's been a very messy two weeks within the National Party. Uh, we're going to end the parliamentary week today. Couldn't come quick enough. Get back into your communities and... Uh, focus back on the things that matter and we have you know, serious issues in the areas of drought of course of these fires and this coronavirus which is having a really big impact on regional tourism on our exports mm. on our biggest customer that's what our guys should be focusing on but larry anthony how did it get to this it's it should have been settled last tuesday we're now almost <laughs> a, a well, week and a half two two weeks on and there's there's damaging leaking almost day after day against Michael McCormack. Is this sustainable? No, it's not sustainable. And, and people have seen this movie before in the Rudd Gillard years and the Turnbull Abbott years. This is not something we do in the National Party. So to my colleagues, there was a vote last week. I don't know what the future predicts, but what I know right now is that our base and that Australians expect better of our members. They're good members. They do it well. Mm -hmm. And the National Party always performs best when we hunt as a pack, when we're united. So I just say to my colleagues, look, there's been a result. Mm -hmm. hunt, you know, come together, focus on the things that matter for the Australian public and move on because people do not like this dissension. No, they, they certainly do not. But is it possible, do you think, in all seriousness, for the National Party at the moment to unite under Michael McCormack? There hasn't been any evidence of it this week. What does he need to do? Because he would be, you'd have to admit, a, a part of the problem. Well, whenever you have leadership contests, uh, it's, 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 it's generally a, a battle between a number of individuals or different camps. I don't want to see the party go into tribes. I don't think it ever has been. You know, it's all been, always been very much focused on representing those peoples in the region. So whether it's Michael, whether it's Barnaby, whether it's others, I mean, really, you've just got but to unite together. what does together. he need to do I mean, now? If, because there's been a lot of criticism from uh, Matt Canavan well, and, and others who, are, who have a, a very strong voice, particularly well, in Queensland, uh, saying that he hasn't done enough to support coal and that he's really got a, um, a marketing PR problem. So what does he need to do? Well, I, I think it's a matter, actually, for all the members of the National Party, not just, not just Michael, because everyone's got their own ambitions, they've got their different views, and I, I accept that. But where the National Party works best is when we're united and we're together. So I suppose for Michael, yes, he's got to try to, to, to bring some of those dissidents in. It's a bit hard now because Lou's left the party room. For others who are unhappy, well, you know, just get on and actually do the job because what people really don't like, whether you're living in Armidale, whether you're living in Tweed Heads, where I come from, or far north Queensland, they really don't like people talking about themselves. And what the future holds, I can't predict. But what I can tell you now, in our hundredth year, and we've been around for a very long time, is that when we're at our best is when we're united. Yes, there are differences, but for goodness sake, to all our members, to our bro mm. bro broader membership base, we've just got to come together for this, for this next phase. But what about doing more to support coal? What about um, 
perhaps well, boosting okay. his well, profile. Let's talk, well, and, and also, just on this final point, some of his own team want him to be less subservient to the Liberals and the Prime Minister. Yeah, well, look, I think uh, um, all previous National Party leaders in the past, I mean, you've got to be assertive to get your way. And as far as the energy debate, as far as building new power stations in North Queensland, well, there's been a feasibility funded now. Let's see how that goes. But yeah, I'm all for having more baseload power. I'm all for having more forms of other uh, alternative energy sources so we can have cheaper power, like Matt Canavan says, so we can re reinstall our manufacturing industry and many others that depend on cheap well, no, energy. Actually, so it's called renewable energy, is the, the dull bludger of the energy system. Is that the national <laughs> yeah, well, look. <laughs> well, look, I think, well, as he said, it turns up when it wants to, but you need, you need a, a proper energy mix, right? So you need that base load mm. and you need other forms as well. But as far as the party's concerned, I just hope the guys, when they leave today, go back into constituencies, talk to those people that yeah. matter and count, and when Parliament resumes, then let's have a little bit more order and, and let history unfold. Well, Larry Anthony, you've seen uh, the week that was. I'm sure it wasn't all that comfortable for you down there uh, in Canberra this week. But just let me finally ask you about Barnaby Joyce. You too, as individuals, have had your differences uh, in the past, but you too have recognised uh, what an amazing campaigner he can be and that he speaks to a certain constituency. He sits on the backbench now uh, with other talented people like uh, Matt Canavan. Is that really the best place for him? And what do you think he should be doing? Well, look, uh, Barnaby and Matt, very disappointing that, that Matt's not the resources minister. They're, they're capable of individuals. Uh, uh, I know their interests are always with regional Australia and they communicate well, and that's where they're at their finest. And where we're not at our finest is where we're talking about each other. So I just hope to, to, to those individuals and others, then, then let's go back onto those issues like the droughts, like the fires, like we're facing now with this mm. coronavirus, like supporting regional development jobs. This is where they're at their finest and they're at their best. And I just, and I know they'll make a, a mighty contribution there. Well, what do you say to Barnaby? Can he ever be leader again? Well, look, uh, uh, it all comes down to numbers and he didn't have the numbers last week. He was close. Well, I don't know what the numbers were, but it, history will unfold as it, as it is. But as I said, on, as we started this program, Laura, these guys have got to be united, and that's what our members expect of us. And certainly in our 100th year, there's been a lot of former leaders, all different types, that have come before us, and there'll be many more leaders that will come in front of us. Larry Anthony, appreciate your time.